Hello everybody. Today I will uh, show you the working of an auto transformer, how an auto transform works and what's its internal construction and how it looks like internally. So you can see we have two auto transformers here. One is the compact one and, and another is you can say the cut section and this is how an auto transform looks outside. You are giving input to the auto transformer via this lead and you are getting output by turning this knob in a particular direction, anti-clockwise or clockwise, depending upon your requirement, and you are uh, getting the output at these terminals. But how it internally looks like, you can see this is the cut section. Here it consists of a single winding, starting from this point and ending at this point. But you can see, I will show you the winding diagram reflected at this board this actually represents the number of turns and the point a and point c is that point at which we are feeding the input you can see a wire from the input goes goes to point c and it goes to point a where you are feeding the input and simultaneously these uh, are connected across this winding this uh, sing, uh, single winding at this point and at this point so you can say the input which I am giving between the point A and C is also impressed across this, this point up from the starting from this to and ending at this point. So you can say that in these number of turns, the power transferred is by conduction process and from this to this point, the power transferred by this auto transformer is by induction process, though, which is the property of an auto transformer, it transfers power by conduction as well as by induction as but in normal to winding transformer whole of the power transferred is by induction plus so i will show you how it transfers the power by conduction as well as induction as i will turn on the input you can check as i have already mentioned the input voltage is fed between the point a and point c you can check the voltage which i am giving to this auto transformer is almost 190 volts right after i have the point e which is actually this uh, variable point when I am turning the slider when I am turning the slider accordingly the output voltage will change which you will monitor which you will monitor by connecting a multimeter across this so I will turn this slider by this position you can see when this point will reach when this slider will reach up to this point which is the point where the pole of the power is transferred by conduction purpose. You can see up to this point the volt input voltage and output voltage they both will be same. You can see it must show 190 volts. Right. Exactly. You can see up to this point from this point to this point which I have already mentioned the power transferred if I tap from this point to this point whole of the power is transferred by conduction. Right. And if you move the slider from this point to end position you can see the voltage is getting end up added up right so you can see in these number of turns the power uh, is transferred by induction so from this point to this point the power is transferred by induction induction and from this point to this point power is transferred by conduction process right and you can see the output voltage is 210 as the voltage gets added up by conduction this induction power uh, voltage and conduction voltage gets added up and the output voltage is maximum is 110 volts available and one more point i want to share with you actually the you can see here in the slider here i you can see there i have inserted a wire actually there uh, in normal uh, auto transformer we have a brush which is inserted in this strip right and in this auto transform the brush has got damaged because brush has a normal it is wear and tear because of uh, wear and tear the brush gets damaged and in the same uh, this uh, auto transform the brush was damaged and i have replaced the brush by this wire to <laughs> make the contact that brush with this winding to get output voltage so normally the auto transforms uh, usually you can see stop working and in most of the cases, usually 90% of the cases, this is this actually happens. The brush gets just uh, damaged and auto starts uh, de de denying to give the output voltage. So if your auto transformer is not working, you can check this. You can check that brush. If that brush is okay, then the fault may be 
with any other point but most of the cases the fault is where the brush gets damaged so thank you